this video will show you how to use the Correlation Finder feature to streamline your analysis, delivering statistical insights right into your results report without needing to export or use complicated software. To get right to the point, we're going to assume a few things. One, your survey had a monadic design, and two, you've already fielded and have your results ready to go in the platform. One thing to keep in mind if your survey design was sequential, depending on the kind of analysis you're looking for, you may need to download your raw data and work with it offline to perform statistical testing. If you're interested in custom data tables, the experts on our research services team are standing by. Let's get started. Okay, we're on our results page. For this Correlation Finder project, let's explore whether there's a statistically significant difference in responses between male and female in terms of their intent to purchase the products we've tested in this survey. With Correlation Finder, we can get the same tabular output that would normally require an export quickly and easily right in the results. To get to top two purchase intent quickly and easily, let's first create a virtual question. Click on the Data Lab icon and drag the virtual question option anywhere into your results like this. If you use smart loops to create your concept test runs or legs or branches, then lucky you, you can label your virtual question and use the preset to automatically create a top two box breakdown. I know that questions 27, 30, and 33 were where we first showed the imaginary products to respondents, so I'll choose that. Check it out here. The platform is pretty smart and recognized that our survey had the best options at the end of our choices, and it accommodated for that. It even auto-detected the labels for us. Let's click Generate Chart to finish up the virtual question creation. Now, if you didn't use Smart Loops or Group Logic, that's okay. You can create virtual questions without using presets, though we're not going to go over that here. Now that we have our virtual question for purchase intent, let's get on with the stat testing. To start, drag the correlation finder onto your results. Let's change the label to something recognizable gender versus PI stats. We'll start with the significance test. And now all we have to do is add our banner, our independent variable, which in this case will be the respondent's gender, which is one of the demographic traits included in each response on the AYTM platform. Next, we'll select the attribute we're testing, the dependent variable, which in this case is the virtual question we just created for purchase intent. Now we click Generate Data and watch the magic. As soon as I finish setting these up, the data is analyzed and displayed right here. You can see all the attributes, purchase intent for each product, and how they stack up for each gender. These letters within the cells indicate any significant differences. The presence of a letter, and whether it's capitalized or not, lets you know which cells are different from this one, and at what level of confidence, primary or secondary. In this case, there appear to be no statistically significant differences, except when it comes to the pet sitting robot. Here, males were statistically more likely to say they would purchase that imaginary product. You can click on Legend for help interpreting your results. The example shown here breaks down the codes used in the data table. Be sure to note you can change your confidence levels at any time if you need different primary and secondary values. Click on the Analysis tab, make your change, and your results will instantly update. What if you want to run a chi-square crosstab instead of a Z or T test? Easy! You can switch tests on the same banner and attributes just by selecting the one you want from the dropdown. But let's test something new using a crosstab this time. Gender versus the number of years respondents have owned a pet. We can change our existing correlation finder or drag over a new one, label it, crosstab gender x years, add the banner, which in this case we'll use the demographic trait gender, and now add the attribute, how many years they've had a pet, which was Q6 in our pet survey. Change to crosstab and click generate data for instant visualization. Now what does it mean? Well, because chi-squared tests assume independence of cells, you'll only see colored shading when the null hypothesis, which is that the banner and attribute are completely independent, is rejected. In other words, there is statistical significance in the colored cells, which indicates the banner and attribute might be related. Clicking on the legend will tell us more. The darker the color, the higher the likelihood that the banner and attributes are correlated. Looking at the data here, what this is telling us is that, within our sample of respondents, being male is statistically significantly positively correlated with owning a pet for two to five years as compared with being female. The reverse can be said about owning a pet for 11 to 15 years or more than 20 years. Within our sample, those attributes are slightly positively correlated with being female. You can change the chart type, download a static image, or even switch from percentages to raw numbers in your visualization. 
If you need to switch the banner and attribute, you can click the swap arrows here. Once you've created them, correlation finder questions will now be available for functions in your results report, including exporting to PowerPoint, downloading images of the chart, and more. If you need to compare banners across multiple questions, or to obtain the specific p-values and full details of statistical analyses, export our standard significance test or correlation scan from the analysis tab. Thanks for watching. Please reach out in chat or check out our knowledge base articles if you need help.